ओके नेक्स्ट आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग टुडे अबाउट ट्रेसिंग इन एडोब इलिस्ट्रेटर हाउ टू ट्रेस ए ड्राइंग और अ कैरेक्टर राइट फॉर दैट सो वांट टू यूज वन ड्राइंग स्केच राइट सो देर इज ए रेफरेंस इमेज फ्रॉम फाइल प्लेस and it is and desktop yeah this is my drawing right place i place this one okay and this is a uh, bigger size so i'm reducing size by pressing alt and shift so proportionately i'm reducing the size and place here exactly an uh, artboard right okay yeah this is my drawing okay so imported select this one here the side here the side layer uh, of panel so this is this one right layer panel is this one look like a paper right click on that okay so here uh, give the name sketch a sketch okay and uh, double click on that layer so not here beside this edge here double click on that layer you will get the layer options okay so in layer options it is uh, in a blue right if you want you can change the color any color so but i'm not changing that one as it is like keep that one if you want to lock lock or it will create as a template right print that one show preview this and all and dim image to at right now what i'm using dim image to means what opacity we are trying to reduce the character opacity here so dim image to 50% so 50% opacity we are reducing or otherwise increase or decrease the number also right now i'm using only 50% save okay now see your image is in dim right 50% dim so lock this one so there is a layer visibility and beside that click it is locked right it is the processor first before tracing any image uh, this is the processor to arrange uh, layers properly right after that above that layer create new layer create new layer click here right okay now you have to use the append tool to get the proper outlining right okay <clears throat> so here i'm using shortcut p pen tool p okay so uh present we are only using outline only we are not filling any colors right so click on the fill color and remove this one right want only outline okay so outline stroke width i'm taking 0.5 okay okay so trace first i'll so same as this is suppose uh, in the same photoshop way we trace here also right so here to here i'm using this one and again add the point anchor point to by pressing alt on keyboard okay yeah and again alt and press anchor point there and here it is okay then again here i want to trace this side so again i'm using alt and keyboard and click on that point so that uh your action your anchor point freshly starting from there right so here to here i'm i'm tracing this portion this entire portion and again here it is up to here okay okay so you can continuously trace this one okay 
Yes. First, um, the whole hair portion as a cutout, uh, I'm planning to trace, right? So, here to here, and this portion, this whole head portion here, yes, cleared. So, this is one, right? Okay. And uh, give this as a name. So, hair, hair, and log this portion, hair portion, and again, one more layer. So, create here. Okay, then uh, this is this head, the skin portion, head portion, I'm tracing, right? So, P, so pen tool, and here to here. So again, I'm using Alt and click here. And again, see here to here. So as the outline showing to me, so I'm following as Disney, right? And again, Alt here. Yes. Okay, and again, here also. here to here I'll do yeah this is right and somewhere uh, if you want to adjust any uh, shapes curves and all so you can use direct selection tool and select only that point and adjust that area adjust that area and yeah this is if you feel the shape is not right you can adjust okay yeah this is is almost okay here this portion I want uh, more nice shape okay yes yeah, this is what um, face give name so it is very easy to understand. Okay, then this uh, a hair portions these separate pieces. So you can add this and again P this one. Yes. And press Alt here. Okay, this is up to here. Yes, I'll add here. Ah, yes. So this is the extra portion. I'll fill with the uh, separate color, right? So this is, and again in the same way, this portion, and again P. And here it is. Okay, and again Alt. Okay, and again Alt here. Okay, 
And suppose some adjustments, if you want some adjustments, press. A, direct selection tool you will get and give the shape, proper shape. Yes. Yes, this is right. Okay, this is the hair portion. Hair right. Okay. Uh, give the name hair. portion air portion and I log this one okay and I'm creating one more layer okay so here uh, I'm adding some details like uh, a ring earring set okay then uh, ring earring right a ring a locket so again I click one more new layer and here I want to uh, trace this eyes so for eyes what I what I'll do I'll reduce uh, this outline size more thin, 0 0.25 I'm taking. Okay. And yes, this is created, right? And here, eye shape, and again, pen tool, and from here to here. Yeah. And again, here. Suppose see, this line is uh, extending, right? So forwarding. So I want to uh, change this path. So what we have to do? Press Alt and click here, so that uh, the pen tool is starting freshly from there. Uh, and again Alt. Yes, created this one. And again, this portion. Yes, oh, again P from here to here. Okay. Okay, so from there, you can overlap it, no problem. Later onwards, it will come over on that. no need to trace exactly on that line because uh, it will go under that layer okay and give the proper shape yes okay okay right and here um, I'm using ellipse tool, right? So that is L. Okay, so here I'm creating one circle. Made curve, yes. And take this to center here. Okay, and again, uh, I'm using one more a circle that inside because 
I want a one inside of mm, a highlight portion this is the highlight yeah here i want to yes yes so even in the direction eye direction suppose here i want so that she sees uh, opposite us yeah here it is okay and here i'm creating a uh, uh, one more circle here so control c control shift to v here yeah, i'm reducing the inside a uh, uh, portion okay it is there then uh, this side i again p pen tool and come here and give uh, the proper shaping here mm, yes yes okay so this eyebrow this is okay this is the eyebrow and this is uh, the shade of that and uh, here i'm using the bottom line here so something here uh, to add one more uh, a thick line under this yeah here i want to add I'll just later I'll add that one, no no problem. So first I'll finish this one. Yes, so here to here. Okay, so and from there to here there is a eye, left side eye. Okay, and give the uh, proper uh, shape and size. Okay, and with the uh, direct selection tool A, give in the proper uh, shape, like uh, eyeball shape. Okay. Yes. Yeah, this is. Okay. Um, yeah, I gave this shape, proper shape. Okay. Then uh, I'm creating the same eyeballs inside. So I'll use this duplicate so, so control c control v duplicate it and i want to change the shape bit oval shape so can reduce this size in place and if you want you can turn rotate this one this is right mm. 
I place it this one right and I want to trace this nose also. nose okay and with the direct selection tool I give a proper shape yes This is okay. Okay, then uh, ellipse. And again, P, pen tool. And uh, I trace this one. So. I'm giving a shape, nice shape here. So I'm improving that drawing outline now shape. Okay, and this is a lower lip here. Yes. Okay, so this is, and uh, I can give some adjustments, yes, okay, and here it is, some detailing. Okay, under this um, lip, there is a small cut yeah actually this will come in uh, shading And here, this side, this lip corner. I'm adding this small depth. Okay, yes. Yes. Okay. And again, in the uh, ear portion, there is a small detail. Okay, this is. Okay. Um, these are. Uh, Phase details.
okay yeah uh, this tracing portion is over okay then uh, i'll explain the next class how to uh, fill uh, colors okay you also prepare one uh, character for tracing thank you